Welcome to the sixth annual DEF CON Security Jam! Woo! You were supposed to shout free bird, you fail. <laughs> it's not time for questions yet. <laughs> Thank you. Dude, your shit is not even blended. Yeah. Room keys, throw that way. Underwear, that way. <laughs> Don't <No. No>. <laughs> We're not doing that again. Yet. Yeah. Give it a few minutes. Anyway, so this is the sixth annual fail panel. Welcome. Uh, each year, they let us stand up here and make asses of ourselves and you. So thank you for coming. It would be much less fun if we didn't have targets. Um, With the flapjacks. With the flapjacks. We are this year making uh, pancakes, otherwise known as flapjacks, as Chris mentioned. So half the money we raise through your generous offerings will go to the EFF. The other half will go to Barnaby's family. And there's all sorts of crazy sauces and yummies that will be put on the plate for you. You have no choice what you get. If you don't like it, tough luck. So we have, uh, we have a variety of folks. I'll let them introduce themselves as they do their spots. Uh, I have a quick fail before we uh, let our next uh, volunteer do their thing. Uh, I want to give the award to Logarithm. Uh, who was at Black Hat this year? Raise your hand if you're a Black Hat. Who and if, you, if you were at Black Hat, did you stay at Caesars? Keep your hand up if you stay at Caesars. Okay. Did you receive one of these lovely shower hangers in your bathroom on your shower at Caesars? Yeah. Oh, well, you got lucky then. So I'm going to make a logarithm the award for creepiest vendor at Black Hat this year. Because <laughs> there's nothing like waking up at far too early in the morning or late in the afternoon and going to take a shower and discovering this hanging on your shower that says, think you're exposed? <laughs> Yeah, what about your assets? <laughs> and, you know, because nothing makes me feel like wanting to purchase something from a vendor like being stalked first thing in the morning. <laughs> in the shower, naked. Hey, David, the guy who came Wait, in to do it in my room opened my door and saw me there, and I guess he decided he did not want to go in my shower. So he just <laughs> handed it to me and he ran. <laughs> yeah. Richard, your slide's done yet? I just started. Excellent, so... I'll go last. Okay, as usual. Hey, come on. Can we look no, like we're I professional? Go last. Can we look like we're professional? He's searching Google Obviously for shit. No. <laughs> He's Googling. He really is. <laughs> he really is. <laughs> pulling shit off Google. I can right go now. whenever you want. Absolutely. Yeah. You want to make your. You want my slides. Excellent. No, no. Fuck you, man. Yes. I got kids. He's not hey, using Google. No. He's, He's using, using Bing. 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 Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, a hey, actually. Actually, yeah. being DEF CON and the DEF CON network, well, Drag. being that it's DEF CON and the DEF CON network, he knows that no one else is monitoring what's going to Bing, so it's probably pretty safe. <laughs> <laughs> there are two things I like to do in private, and both have Bing in the phrase. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think you scared Alex. <laughs> Where's the Bing and Scheiser? <laughs> uh, or go see. Or goats. Or goats. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, Jamie, take it away. Yay. Woo. 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 So I got a mic, a mic, a mic, and a no VGA. This chick keeps turning off. Oh, it go. wasn't me. Oh, fuck. You got too much plugged into it, sir. I got two fucking things plugged VGA? into it. VGA? Oh, hey, look at that. VGA. I'll just keep my Who finger knew? on the button the entire time. Please VGA. connect directly to NSA. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, last year at the fail panel, uh, much like this says poisonous mic, oh, labeling here sucks this year. Uh, last year at fail panel, I did my slides on stage, much as Rich is doing right now. And hey, look at that! You can see my desktop. You know, what, next year we should just all do our slides as we're giving our presentation. You know what? Um, I could have done this with just preview, but I wanted to give you guys like a title slide so I could talk about um, how I discovered that hotel internet is funny. Wait, we're not projecting. What's going on? Okay. I can see it there. Now it's over there. Failing over there. AV people. Here we fail. There we fail. Everywhere we fail. Take it off. Oh, take it off. Okay. Prepare. Don't be a cyber douche. So, um, 
keep I'm blowing the. <laughs> you're blowing the circuit breaker. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. We know. That's what we're I'll hold it. No, uh, you'll hold it. I can hold it. I can hold it. Keep your finger on the button. Keep my finger. Okay. Finger when you when you all start to see me shake, <laughs> can you, can you'll know it's from being electrocuted. Can you? Uh, can I what? In a in a round motion. In a round motion. Is that good for you, Chris? All right. So last year I did my slides on stage, and, and that was fun and all. This year I decided to be prepared. So when I got to Vegas, I still had no slides. <laughs> what are you, you going to do? They're having too much fun. Uh, does anybody stay in a hotel? Anybody stay in a hotel that has no guest protection on its Wi-Fi? Anybody stay in a hotel that has no guest protection on its Wi-Fi? And I just lost my slides. I think we shorted the whole stage out because awesome. I lost that screen too. <laughs> um, okay, so I, I'm sitting at Caesars, uh, trying to prepare for training with Rich. Hey, did you guys break something? Yeah, we broke a lot. Right there. Yeah, yeah. troublemaker. Like, there's, there's no. What did you step? Hit on? the breaker down there. Is there a breaker, or do we blow the whole room? Oh no! Holy no shit! There's Anybody behind. got a lighter? No, there's no power down there, are there? Wait, Anyways, wait, I have so a Rich and I, we're there. sitting in our, room, we're sitting in Rich's room. Right? We're trying to prepare. We're looking at slides. No fucking and screen. all of a sudden, out of the complete <laughs> freaking blue, <laughs> what are they doing? I have no idea. All right, so you're just going to hold that circuit breaker open? Why is it still off? Yes. No. These are still off. Nice. Stand just like that. What's it calling for into? help? Oh, thank you. There's no help. Come. Call the union. Pop the circuit breaker on that guy. Oh, there he is. Half cooked pancakes are delicious. Yes. <laughs> They're sometimes better than a fully cooked. Yes. Because you get double. No. Nope. You ever had one of those moments when you knew that somebody else was in your computer? You know, you got to Vegas and you forgot to turn on your firewall, right? Because, you know, failure, that's my modus operandi, bitches. I look over at my machine because somebody else's desktop is on it. <laughs> Dude, you can't leave it get it. Okay. Out of, out of um, an abundance of caution, I asked our local Mac security expert, Rich Mogul, read his articles on... Dude, what the fuck is Mac World? World? I have no idea. Mac World. I can't keep the, the Mac the thing straight. The power is on on the fucking thing. The on the, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I think there's multiple guys. Yeah, it's it's different. Look, there's power on on that. Keep talking. Oh, okay. Please don't touch me there. Keep, keep the concert going. And, uh, um... But this is down. Yeah, so, out of habit, when I'm working at home, I, I have me, some run you large number of monitors in my yes. office that Thank exceeds sanity. Okay. Uh, okay. I What's habitually leave air power. server running. Because, you know, it's an easy way to take what I'm looking at on my phone or my <laughs> iPad and throw it to yeah. one of the monitors in my office. This is this one. Guess what? People will promiscuously join any frickin' air server they can in the hopes that it's the TV in their hotel room. <laughs> Raise your hand if you're promiscuous. <laughs> Jai Daniel wins on that one. <laughs> My beard is. <laughs> okay, so this is all funny for the moment. Well, you know, Rich and I are trying to scramble to remember what's the hot key for screenshot and uh, grabbing phones and trying to take a phone picture of it. Um, yeah. And then the music starts. <laughs> so I've been fooling around with this, and um, <clears throat> for reasons that shall remain not astonishing to anyone, I managed to lose a folder full of screenshots. But I did catch this lovely one, <laughs> which is the guy troubleshooting why he can't hear his YouTube video anymore. <laughs> I had perfect fidelity of it. <laughs> so, <clears throat> as a call to action, as a go out and stamp out cyber douchery wherever, I will ask all of you, individually and severally, to please run air server. Configure your air server host name as capital A, small p, small p, small l, small e, capital T, capital V. <laughs> uh, 
If you're on a Mac, the keys you're looking for that neither Rich nor I could remember are Command Shift 3. <laughs> or 4. 4 makes you draw a window, 3 takes it in the instant. Just keep, well, because Air Server by default fills the entire screen. Just keep hitting those three keys while they puzzle out why their video disappeared or their audio disappeared or share their corporate secrets with you because they're dumb. Thank you. I'm going to say this. As years of a Mac user, it is easy to be very secure. It is foolish to just depend on intrinsic security because look at me, I've got a genius to depend on. <clears throat> not oh not rich no not rich although rich is a different kind of genius um, because he won't talk about it anybody know who had 90 minutes to prep a black hat talk first talk of the morning 90 minutes prep and he killed it for an hour there are no other professionals like that in our industry so my call to action configure your air server as Apple TV Air server runs on a Raspberry Pi, by the way. And don't, don't put your glove on you. yeah, screenshots, send them to me so that I can post them and we can all titter in glee. And if someone is so enterprising as to take my intellectual property and build such a device, please, someone make me a Raspberry Pi image that connects via Wi-Fi to whatever it can and runs as an air server yes. as Apple TV and screenshots oh, once Lord. every second. Yeah. Build it, send it to me, I will give you all the creds in the world times one majillion. Build it and you will come? I did not <laughs> say that. <laughs> it's like yeah, I walked right the into that. Are <laughs> walked right into it. All right, oh, be can you do it? Can somebody do it? Is anybody better at scripting than me? Oh, yes. you have a box that does that? I'm going to make one for you. You're going to make one for me? And he Fuck will him. come. You rock. Um, can we, <laughs> can we <laughs> offer him something in congratulations <laughs> and thank you? Would you like uh, a beer? beer. Um, we have half done flapjacks. They're almost done. No, oh, they're almost done. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, that's not beer, man. <laughs> Remember the rule. American beer is like sex in a canoe. <laughs> Fucking close to Fucking water. Fucking close to yeah. water. Fucking close to water. Yeah, man. Awesome. Thanks so much, dude. Thank you very much. You can get a pancake, so stand by. Or beer. Or both. Or both. Beer cakes. Put beer in the pancakes. We usually do. Oh. Hey. I'm putting my tongue in his ear this year. Where are you? Oh, wait, you're not going to put your tongue in my ear this year? I'm out of here. I just wonder where he is going to put his tongue. <laughs> oh. Oh. With sexy results. We have beer there. There is no connection between the two. It's field panel six. Hey, Martin, you want to try a pancake? Something broken again? No, but I'll find the victim. No, we don't have power. No, it kind of went out. The light's off. There we go. Oh, it's a battery. There you go. Oh, it's done. Yeah. Excellent. Let's hear it for carryover. All right. How do I find a really long extension cord and bring it to us? We already have a graphic around. Sorry. More again? He needs to run over to Caesars. Can I have a look under that? Jason. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You do the bottom of your top. That works. All right, just waiting for the other side. Hey, the donation box is looking really empty, so I'm going to put $100 in, which is now long. No, Jack, you don't want to. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Oh, that's a uh, Canadian five dollar bill, which is currently worth six dollars. Five dollars U.S. Because your economy. <laughs> we have oil and wood. We can sell you. Would you like some oil before or after the wood? It is a great value. You should see. Yes, oh, here, you should put the buttery spray down there in case they want some. <laughs> it's great value. It's butter flavor. For your nipples. Yeah, for your nipples. I would like some butter for my nipples, please. Again? Also, could I get a little bit of syrup? You can. All right, so who's going to lick the butter and the syrup off my nipples? 
Chocolate, caramel, or strawberry? Strawberry. It's Canadian. I don't want Canadians licking stuff off my nipples. I have, I have standards. No. Really, I do. Why a fork? All right. Any word on uh, slides on this side? Going once, going twice. No Slide idea. Schmides. Slide Schmides. They really want to see these, though. Okay. Well, in any case, uh, everyone lean over that way so they can yeah. see the slides. In effort uh, to get you guys moving along, so you can hear from some of my other esteemed colleagues, we'll just do slides on one side while they work on the other. Okay. Yeah, this should be on the fail panel, right? The projector fail. Hey, it's small. Wait a minute. That's what she said. Yeah, I've heard that before. Mostly from Rich, though. All right, so we are so screwed. Uh, so a little bit about me. Uh, my name is uh, Larry Pesci, and uh, I'm a penetration tester, hardware hacker, and I'm currently between jobs. So uh, my employer was supposed to send me to DEF CON to come give this presentation as part of the fail panel, and this is all stuff that I discovered while I was working for them, and they laid me off last Monday. Ooh. But, with a baby. but yeah, with an eight-week-old baby at home and a five-year-old. Um, but in any case, uh, tweeted and all that good stuff that I got laid off. I got laid off at 10:30 in the morning, and I had an offer letter by 7 p.m. Yeah. 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 It was, and I took it. Boy, did he ever take it! What you get? Where can we buy it? You porn. Wait, no. All right, so based on the fact that I am currently technically unemployed, because I don't start with a new company for until the end of the month, um, I had to do a little bit of redaction to sort of protect the innocent and the fact that I can't afford a lawyer right now because I'm not getting paid. So donate uh, a lot of money so he has a lawyer when he gets sued. Yeah. Um, so to that uh, former network guy in a past life uh, many years ago, uh, uh, instructor, certified instructor of the Sands Institute, uh, a member of the Paul.com Security Weekly Group, uh, yay! And I'm also an extra class ham radio off operator, yeah, which is completely irrelevant to this uh, presentation. You have no sex life. Right. Well, I also have kids. Right, Rich? They are mutually exclusive. Yes. Yeah, so what is this whole talk that I'm going to talk about? So, uh, I had just changed jobs. Fuck. Really? And again. Uh, but I had just changed jobs into the energy sector. So, uh, you know, had been doing consulting for penetration testing in all sorts of industries, uh, but was now specifically tailored to just pen testing and hardware hacking in the energy sector, which was a completely new thing for me. I'd never done any work in the energy sector, so there was all sorts of new terms and things that I had to understand. Um, it's a whole new industry, uh, and on day one of my new job, I was on a plane to a client site. Excellent. And, I spe and after about six weeks, we find out we're going to come do the fail panel. What am I going to talk about? Uh, and this was my impression of the energy sector, security in the energy sector, after about six weeks on the job, and sort of why I think that. All right, so day two on the job. Hi. Howdy. Okay, um, so day two on the job. You don't mind if I rub back, right? Like, no. no, oh no. Okay. You know oh. the rest of us have been telling the screwed story for years, right? Do yes. You, do you now understand why we are the way we are? Just wait. Yeah. <laughs> but wait, there's yeah. more. There, wait, there's more. He slices, he dices. Yes, he dices. and there's more pancakes, flapjacks, yay. Yay. All right, to so. To be honest, oh wait, the first time I ever saw a naked man in a wireless router was, was Larry. <laughs> I have that picture. I, I, <laughs> Wait, did, did you bing? Did you bing it? I can find it. On the drive, don't you you have the picture, but I have the life size cutout <laughs> in the ba in the basement, and it has made many rounds around our house in various closets. And um, you throw it in the closet, the pantry, and my daughter goes and opens the pantry and goes, and then closes the door and waits for mommy to go to the pantry. <laughs> Mommy, why isn't Daddy's router bigger? Yep. <laughs> wow. Wow, I'm not even going to touch that one. It was a Linksys. So <laughs> yeah, it was a Linksys. Small antenna. All right. So he to had very small gain. Ooh. Yeah, more than yours, though. That's all right. That's okay. See, I don't even feel it. 
All right. So, in order to understand a little bit about some of uh, the reason why the, I think this whole energy sector security stuff is totally screwed, uh, we need to understand a little bit about AMI, and that's advanced metering infrastructure, not the AMI BIOS folks. And yeah, I didn't know that on day number two of my job either. Um, so, needless to say, there's lots of new acronyms and all this type of stuff uh, in the energy sector that I had no idea about, and uh, it took a little bit of explaining, but that's okay. Um, so let's understand a little bit about AMI, speaking in general sort of terms, no particular vendor and those types of things. So what we end up with is a, a meter on your house that reads usage, metrology. And that metrology now needs to be reported back to the provider, so to the energy company. So they know how much electricity you're using or how much gas you're using. So that metrology gets sent over a network via some sort of mesh network or some sort of aggregation device. Uh, and that aggregator connects back to the utility, which then uh, connects to a system potentially in a DMZ, which then the accounting folks then connect to from their internal network. So now you can start following the path from a meter to a host on the internal network. Great. Point so out, point out these are not smart meters. These are actual meters. These are actual meters and or smart meters. It all depends on the type of device that are installed. Need more plates. Yeah. So uh, you can, uh, multiple different types of meters, whether they be smart or otherwise, uh, that, do, that do have some sort of wireless technology to be able to uh, contact this quote aggregator. Um, the first week on the job, I got to pen test one of these aggregators. All right, so what did I find? Unfortunately, crossing your arms doesn't hide the boner. <laughs> 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 and tweak that in two. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, wait, wait, real quick. How close are we to getting Rich Mogul naked? Speaking of bombers. Sudo, take off your pants. <laughs> oh. Password, please. It, it nice. One, two, three, four. Password An SSH one. key. Password one. Oh, I, I got you. SSH. We'll, we'll save that. We need to get more money out of these people before yeah. I drop trial. Isn't the password always the same as the luggage? We crossed 500 in Thank donations. You. Thank Yay. you, people. Let's keep it going. Everybody. Rich, 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 rich. Sudo. Do you want this or just now? <laughs> hey, no, no. Woo! I think your pants are worth $1,000 this year, Rich. So I'm running for Congress. <laughs> Quick, get your iPhone. Pull out, pull out. <laughs> Everyone's a wiener. District five in Phoenix. District. Five. I don't know. <laughs> Are you gonna pay wait, wait, wait. Let me back up. Let me back up. <laughs> All right, wait. So what do we get if we get a thousand dollars, Rich? Oh. He loses the shorts. We get to tie Dave to a chair with his pants wait, 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 now. Rich. What's that, Rich? It, oh, very good. There you go. <laughs> yeah. No. So, Rich, as an analyst, is this the first time you've had money stuff in your face? No, no, it happens a lot. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I wow. believe I may be the only person in history to drop my pants at both RSA and Defcon. Nice. <laughs> Multiple times. Well, yeah. Some it's all here. about the multiples. You want okay. pancakes? Raise your hand. Can't so get this off. Please. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> all right. So, speaking of boners, the Welcome first the aggregator phone. device that I got to test uh, had <laughs> Ethernet and a serial port externally accessible. Winning. Um, however, the uh, the Ethernet was all shut down. All that good stuff. Uh, the serial port had a password on it, which was uh, very good, highly. Uh, high entropy on that password, so doing some brute force against it wasn't going to work for us. So uh, that was uh, pretty good. However, we can still observe all of the boot process and get all sorts of information about it via the serial port. And then we look and discover this other port. And yes, the boner police have come for you. Yeah, so we open up this other port and there's an SD card inside. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? Now, this is a device that is hung on a telephone pole 12 feet up. So you just need an extension ladder to go be able to acquire one of these SD cards. 
Yeah, so great, SD card, but what the heck's on it? So the manual claims that it contains the operating system and configuration files for the device on a hidden file system. Yep. So by the way, day two on the job. Okay. So I removed the SD card and uh, threw it in my Mac with the built-in SD card reader. Uh, it mounted or, or attempted to mount, didn't find any file systems. I'm like, crap, hidden file systems. How'd they do that? So uh, I made a DD image um, of the SD card. Uh, I couldn't identify any of the uh, images on the ISO either, so no big deal. Uh, but I ran strings against that ISO image that I had taken from, uh, from the DD and found all sorts of interesting stuff in the configure what appeared to be configuration from the entire disk image in plain text. So great, hidden file system, unencrypted. Okay, so I put the image on my own SD card as to not damage the uh, original. Um, put it back. Yep. And uh, moved the box, moved the device over to uh, my Linux workstation so that I could attempt to to play with it. Um, and I plugged it into uh, an Ubuntu 12.04 system, and it auto mounted six EXT3 file systems. <laughs> Wait, I thought it was hidden. On Windows, it is. <laughs> <laughs> you realize at this point, if the vendor will release a vulnerability, they'll say, it's in a hard to understand format, so you're, we're fine. Yes, <laughs> yes, and I think that's at why it was hidden. It's not proprietary. <laughs> yeah, at least it's not proprietary. Just, just you wait, just Open you wait. systems. Yep. All right, so I start going through the file systems and search for configs. Um, and I find that there is a running and a, quote, golden config. And when you change the running config on the SD card, it detects that changes were made and boots the golden config. So I changed both. <laughs> so I changed the, uh, the running config, uh, modified that, detected that it was changed on the next boot, so it automatically started the golden config, which I had also changed to include my own local user and password to one that I knew. Uh, so now I'm root on the system. Insert my, and by the way, uh, they were attempting to get away being able to modify some of those files on that SD card by using Unix file permissions. Um, so they were owned by root, but guess what? It's mounted on my file system and uh, on my system as a file system, and I am root on my file system, so I have the right to change those files. So I did. Uh, insert my uh, SD card into the device, reboot it, and I now have a local user account on the device before TACX accounting starts up because TACX accounting has to wait for the 3G connection to start. So uh, I now have uh, full control of the device, and the device contains a Wi-Fi access point, which connects outbound over the 3G, and because I can configure it, well, now I can set up routing and offer free Wi-Fi for everyone in the neighborhood. <laughs> Amongst other things. Could I narrate the pictures? I, I feel like you're, you're just, just glossing over. Them. Well, that's the point. That's the point. All right. So the initial vendor response was, "Oh, but you didn't use your high security mount for mounting this on the pole. Oh, you mean the one with the big hole in it, so you can still gain access to the SD card slot? No. And uh, aluminum that we can take out with a crowbar? Awesome." So uh, we contacted the vendor you know, through, uh, through our client, uh, and they said, sure, how about we just put a password on the config file? I'm not exactly sure what they meant by that, but I'm, <laughs> I don't think they were either. Wait, um, are you saying that you have a shortcoming in your security knowledge? You can't put a password on a file? Well, you can, but yeah, but how are they going to start reading it and then putting the password in memory and... Uh, just put it at the beginning of the file. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, so include the password in band. Yeah. yeah. yeah all right. Oh, hey, hey. hey, I like that. No like one's that. talking about music here, buddy. <laughs> Not yet, right? All right. So uh, when we talked to the vendor, we said, you know, guys, that was really dumb, um, vendor. Um, how about we maybe uh, work with you on a contract to test your stuff before you deliver it to customers? And they said, oh, well, we have a team that does that for us, yeah, an internal team. Um, yes, they must be awesome. Uh, if my calculations are correct, you suck. And yes, I bet you all read that in Doc Brown's voice. Yeah. Titty sprinkles, right? 
All right. So uh, I, I finished that uh, engagement, spent a week back at home. Uh, my 10th day on the job, I'm back at a, another vendor or at a, another customer. And I'm uh, pen testing a different device from a different manufacturer, but with similar type of function. So another one of these aggregator devices. Um, this one was really well secured. Um, same thing for serial port, no exposed SD card. Uh, Ethernet was fully shut down, uh, you name it. Um, but in, in due diligence to the customer, uh, we asked them to log into the device for us. Uh, and then we were going to review all of the, the settings on the system. And it was a, a Linux-based system. So we wanted to review the Linux config um, to see if there was anything that maybe they had made some mistakes. Go figure. Um, so Unix-based uh, operating system, serial and Ethernet were externally accessible. Okay. Um, once we logged in, we were taking a look to see what had been done for hardening. Um, and the first one was a distinct lack of Etsy shadow. And all the passwords were in Etsy password world readable. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So next what? Uh, I'm like, all right, well, let's do what I just did last two weeks ago and see if I can get a DD image from the system. Um, so I started trying to do DD over Netcat. Uh, unfortunately, um, the user that I was logged into the device did not have read access to the entire file system, so it failed. Uh, so I could not get my DD image to my local workstation after enabling Ethernet and all that good stuff. Um, and it was also in, I don't know, what, 10 years of pen testing is the first time I ever used Netcat in a pen test. Yeah. Sorry, Ed. All right. So it uh, starts looking around the uh, uh, operating system and uh, find an application proxy which gives the user the ability to leverage privileged commands from a non-privileged account, much like the one that I had. And this sounds just like sudo to me, um, but it wasn't sudo. So they kind of reinvented the wheel. Again. Okay. Again. So the command has been obscured to protect the vendor. Um, so we start looking at the output of the command for the app proxy. Uh, the app proxy, the dash A gives us the level of access needed. Sweet. Uh, the dash C is the command that we want to run from a, a white list of uh, commands. And the dash P gives us the command line options to said command in the white list. Did you guys see any uh, authentication for using a potential system level command in that whole setup? Yeah, no, me neither. Um, it didn't require any additional username and password, much like sudo might. Uh, and just granted access to those privileged commands in the white list. However, it turns out that the dash P flag doesn't do any sanity checks or filtering. <laughs> so you pipe the output from one of those uh, whitelisted commands like ipconfig to dev null, and then you pipe another command that you want to do to it, and it executes it happily as system. Yay! All right, so. <clears throat> so I get a copy of the image via Netcat, <laughs> via this privilege escalation. <laughs> and I start doing yeah, uberly strings against the, uh, the image and find a bunch of uh, databases uh, and database definitions that include uh, commands such as create table, uh, ID integer name text, salt text, password text, update date, date, and the primary key name, salt, and password. Great. So they're storing the password and the salt as text in this database. No. It just gets better. Uh, now, that said, just pancakes? Pancakes. Anybody want pancakes? Flapjacks. Flapjacks. Keep flapping those jacks. Yes. Come on, we want flapjacks. Raise your hand for pancakes. Over there. Raise your hand. Keep them up over there. Keep them up. Wave money if you want pancakes. <coughs> Wave something else if you want Mar something Marshmallows else. Fine too. Yeah. All right. Maynard still has his shirt on. Don't worry. He will get it off. Oh, yeah. All right. Another few hundred bucks, and that'll go. 
sweet. You want delicious butter like spread? All right. So I had no idea what database this stuff was for or what these passwords were used for. But either way, it's still not good because now I have access to the entire image. I have potentially the databases. Ooh, that feels good. I'm from the vendor. I'm here to make sure you don't complete this talk. Nice. All right. So the vendor response on this one. Uh, we're still waiting for a response, and well, I don't work there anymore, so I'll probably never find out what the response from the vendor was. What's the, what the fuck about this? I don't know. I, I'm wondering why they ran out of D on their salad sign, though. Oh, I see. Yeah, right. see, try, as a, try your Asian salad. They couldn't find the capital D, so they had to use the up down, upside down P. Uh, yeah, uh, I, don't, uh, I don't know. You're absolutely right. Yeah. So here's the final fail. What, too much? Gotta go, hey, gotta who wants go. pancakes? <laughs> you can tell how many people here are not parents. <laughs> yes, that's nothing if you're a parent, right? <laughs> Except that the ass is a little bit bigger. Uh, all right, so this one was uh, pointed out to me by my former boss who asked not to be named. Um, and so I asked for some help figuring out some information about utilities and pictures and all that type of stuff. And he sent me to Flickr for um, an uh, interesting uh, government agency that supports uh, energy in Tennessee. Um, and I, I will leave it at that. Uh, and these did get reported to said government agency, and they removed them from their Flickr stream. However, you know that saying what some creep has got a copy of everything on the internet? Well, yeah, sometimes that creep is me. So once they had already removed them, I still had copies. So once it's on the internet, it's already there. You guys know that. So let's take a look at this particular case study. So here's a picture from their Flickr stream for their marketing purposes. It gets better. So I'll call out some specific things for you. So we've got a picture of a badge. Uh, we've got plant control software running on XP. We've got uh, security video cameras, and now we can potentially gather their locations. And we have a gentleman by the name of Rick's phone number. Two of them. <laughs> but look, you, you also have this nifty red jacket right here. What do you, right, is right. Is that members only? Members only. Might be. That? Might be. So, so wait, you found the most advanced power plant in North America because th they're on XP. Well, yes. Yes. If any of you think I'm joking, look at my resume. Yep, he's not. All right, so there was another picture on their Flickr stream as well. Oh. Sweet. What could possibly go wrong? Well, a whole bunch of stuff. Excuse my <laughs> DR plan. Yep. So there's the, the flyaway book is their DR plan underneath a box of tissues um, <laughs> because apparently it makes them cry. <clears throat> right. Is it crying that the tissues are for? No, yeah, it's definitely not the other one, Dave. Trust All me. Right. Um, so uh, we've got XP in the background in the cubicle. We've got XP running on this big display and what appears to me being IE7. Um, we've also got... Uh, is that the Tennessee Valley Authority? Yeah, of course it is. Seriously, yep. most advanced control room I've seen. <coughs> yep. And uh, so this, uh, this fine lady is sitting here uh, taking a picture over her shoulder. And if we look at the system, there are three monitors connected to it. How can I tell? Because the background, the desktop background was customized by her to look like a picture of family because we see legs at the bottom. Wait, and it that, is the same on two family. monitors. So that at least those two monitors are probably connected to the same system using the same Windows background. I don't know what that is. But in any case, it looks like there's some sort of plant control or plant monitoring software on one workstation. Don't forget the Boyd call. Yeah, I didn't. I, we're running. You don't want to, you don't want to rub it in too Yeah, much. I don't want to rub it in too much. But we're doing some sort of plant control and monitoring on a machine that has access to Outlook. Well, hey, that, that seems completely safe. And Office. Running, uh, well, that's kind of sketchy. Most use, advanced power plant <laughs> in the, the country. What could be wrong? Wait, did you see there's a clock up here? I did. But it's analog. Yes. That means there's probably nothing we could do with that. Probably not. <laughs> also Except tell the time. The uh, no, it's yeah. gar guaranteed incorrect relative to the grid. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, like, you need to use something better than NTP. You want to find a cesium clock source? find a power control room. They'll have two. And they're using a battery-powered clock on the wall they got from Ikea. Yep. They have cesium source time. 
And they're using a battery-powered clock from Ikea. Yeah. Yeah, or Walmart or whatever. And if you oh, zoom, right. you and you zoom into here. this uh, particular picture, uh, this is uh, Microsoft Word on the right-hand side, which is a procedure with emergency contact numbers. Winning. All right, so based on my six weeks of experience, we are so screwed because we're in an industry that we are starting to tell them, uh, you guys need to like start at the beginning and stuff, like by practicing defense in depth because you're not even doing that. Um, 2003 called and they want their security program back. Uh, yeah. So um, last year I brought you guys Afro Circus to make everything better, right? Afro Circus! All right. So I don't have anything quite as bad as Afro Circus. I'm not going to plant the earwig for you guys this year. However, I do have some dead mouse for you. But it's not going to be the earwig that I plant. It's the eye wig. Okay. So to make it all better... Wait, wait. Anyone want pancakes? No, no, it's okay. Oh, all right. <laughs> You'll want pancakes after this because you do not want the dry heaves. You will actually want something to throw up. Because Dead Mouse is always better <laughs> when cats throw up the techno. For it, wait for it. Donations for EFF and Barnaby, please. Dude, I think I saw this guy at one of the DEF CON parties last night. <laughs> wait for it, wait for it. Don't worry, this is not the 10 hour video. <laughs> yes, I'm going to play the whole thing. Slapjacks, anyone? Ooh. Hey, 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 now. How, how long did you spend collecting these videos? Or is all your YouTube. cash? YouTube, YouTube. People put videos And like here comes the money shot! Ah! Ah! See, cats throwing up to techno always makes everything better. There's something wrong with us. You guys want to see that again? <laughs> All right. So with that, who's next? I do believe that'd be Mr. Robert Graham. Yay. Mr. Robert Graham to the podium. Mr. Yeah, Mr. Graham, you fin did you finish your slides already? Do you need my display port adapter? Yes, we're all going to need it. Because we all use it. You guys all need it. We need what you got. Thank you very much. You guys will never listen to Dead Mouse the same way again. I never did begin with. Pancakes! So while Rob makes his way to the podium, I'd like to give you some background about Rob. He, uh, he's somewhat of a cheater. He, he broke the rules. We all, like normal people, do our presentations five to 15 minutes before this uh, panel. Rob did his last week at home before he even got on the plane to come here. So don't be amazed at anything he talks about. It was all done a week ago. Whoa. Come on. I didn't even pick a topic till I got here. <laughs> Actually, um, Rich is true. He, we're talking in the... Or not. I assume you were rich there to my right. No, I, I'm not rich. <laughs> That's why you're looking at my chest. <laughs> Wait, hey, Jack, how much money do we have and what, 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 what part of Rich's clothes are coming off next? So, so anyway, Rich, seriously, we were in the speaker room about an hour before the talk, and Rich was saying, what should I present? <laughs> and then he was right here a few minutes ago, Furiously putting together slides. He, he's done like hey, just uh, a quick update. We have uh, raised about a thousand so far. That's five hundred. Five hundred for Barnaby's family. Five hundred for EFF. Um, give till it hurts. Uh, although actually the Barnaby Jack's family. Yeah, EFF and Barnaby's family. They're uh, ship them home to New Zealand. Yep, and uh, give till it hurts. Even though we're making you hurt up here, so. Hey, Jack, don't go away. Because you know what? 
I don't have a job technically because I don't start until the end of the month. But you know what? Here's a hundred bucks. No. <laughs> uh, would, would somebody go in the hallway? There's like a hundred people out there who didn't hear the call to get some more money. Can we just yell it out louder out there? Because uh, we got a really teensy tiny room this year, and there's a lot of people who want to see. This is this a reflection of our Oh yeah. Who do we piss off? Everybody. I'm sorry, everyone. Actually, this was the panel room, so all the panels come here. That's why. So uh, my talk, I'm starting with uh, this picture. So can we, uh, I think we all know what this picture is. It's a gold-plated fiber optic cable. <laughs> and so the gold, this is a monster.com cable. They'll charge you like 150 bucks for it. And it's better than those mere $2 cables because it's got gold plating to make sure that the fiber optic connection is, is better. But Rob, what does gold have to do with fiber optics? <laughs> is it oxygen-free fiber optics? I don't know, lead-free probably, and environmentally sound, and what? so. And and you look at the, and we all know the monster um, company. They're they're marketing around this is that it's you know gives superior lifelike sound, but this is a digital cable. The bits that come in are the same bits that come out. You you as long as that condition is true, every cable is equal. You can't add somehow to the digital signal. Monster can. Except for Monster can, apparently. Oxygen free cable. Please. Marketing. But Rob, what does gold have to do with fiber optics? <laughs> I don't know. So, uh, and so, the, 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 this is sort of digital astrology that somehow we can add to the bits. That there's some magical mysticism we can add to the bits. And we laugh at Monster, but fewer of us laugh at television sets. So we all go to Costco when we go down the aisle, of, or Best Buy, we go down the aisle of television sets and we sort of pick the prettiest one. But the thing is, is, in the old days, I guess, in analog TV, and by the old days I meant before half of us were born, um, TVs were analog and yeah, there were adjustments you could make to the TV to, to fix things. But with digital TV, that's digital, it's the same concept as the monster cable, um, it bits in, it's 24 uh, frames per second, it's 1080p or 720p, or 1080i or 720p, um, 24 bits per, per uh, pixel, and that's the color. And there's no, any adjustment you make on that is degrading the color, you're not improving it. <laughs> and so digital is digital, and so anything that it does to make a vibrant, optimized contrast in color, it's making the picture worse. And that's why you get these TVs home, and you have these nice, pretty, in, in the showroom, you have these nice, pretty pictures with lots of colors, and that color is really vibrant, and you really like it. But then you go home, and you try to watch TV on it, and everything is crap. Like, you're watching Star Wars, and Darth Vader is just this black blob, and Luke is this white blob, and they're, all the colors are so saturated. And that's just racist. You're, you're, can you get prescription Google Glasses, please? Because obviously you're not sitting close enough. And so, but Rob, what does fiber optics have to do with gold? So, so you watch, you watch, you, you take a movie and watch it on your iPad or your computer monitor, and it looks correctly. You can see the folds in Darth Vader's robes. You watch the same movie on TV, and you can't make out the details, and it really pisses me off. Because I've bought two TVs now that no matter how many settings I go through, I can't get to what a computer monitor shows. So the factory defaults are the wrong defaults. They're the, the factory defaults are the, the color and the contrast and the sharpness and all this other nasty stuff that they've distorted the digital signal. But it looks great in the store because I bought it, right. Maybe a different cable would help. <laughs> so, so there's this company called eColor that produces, in case all the distortion already on your digital TV is not enough, they'll sell you a box to do more. 
And, you know, the preserving skin tones and colors and brightness and contrast, the same nonsense that Bravia or Tonya is advertising. And it's a simple device with, with just HDMI in and HDMI out, just going through some algorithms on the FPGA. Because, again, it's all digital. You run through some mathematical stuff on the FPGA, and you're great. But, Rob, what does gold have to do with fiber optic? <laughs> so, so I'm here to liberate these chips. You have these FPGAs in the service of evil. So I want to liberate the chips. So now I'm going to do that and grab, and grab the, actually, can you grab the, this thing? Yeah, that's what I can so, so this is the box. You go onto Amazon. What's great about this is it's a $300 device. The FPGA itself is a $50 chip. But since, in actuality, these things suck and only morons buy them, you can always get them used on eBay or close out on Amazon or something for like $10. So I got three of these boxes for $10. Each. It has a button. <laughs> and so there's like all this crap in here and, and stuff that you don't want. You don't want any of this crap. You got the device, you got the power supply, you got the little remote control, the box. So yeah, and you have this device here and it comes with a you know, little protective plastic because you want to keep it pretty because it sucks. Uh, you got your, your little power supply, and the power supply you sort of need, but you don't need this other crap. And so this device, I spent a long time trying to, to get the case open so I could actually preserve the case, but it's all glued together, so you just got to break it. And once you break it, it doesn't go back together again. It's just broken. <laughs> so, so you have this device here, and what you have is... I, I, it's really hard to see, so I'm going to try to use the, uh, the display here, photo booth. Let's try this. So you can see that there's three chips on this. There's the HDMI in, HDMI out, and then there's the FPGA in the middle. Now, as hackers, what we know is, is that every device in the world has a JTAG debugging port on it. And usually the first thing we do when we grab a device is go hunting for the, the chip pads, the pads on the, on the motherboard, to go uh, solder on our, our connectors on it. But luckily, these guys right here, you can see, they already, or they already have the, uh, the JTAG interface on it. So that's awesome. But Rob, what does gold have to do with fiber optics? <laughs> these JTAG pins are gold-plated for enhanced sound. <laughs> <laughs> So what we're going to do is, can we have JTAG, which means it's a back door to the FPGA chip. Could you plug this in on a power supply thing over there? <laughs> you can try here. There's one at your feet. There's one at your feet. It didn't work. Yeah, but there's nothing over here that works. So. Oh, here. here. We can just take off mine. Yeah. I'll take off one of those for a moment. Here, here this one. Yours. That's fine. Okay, so this is nice, powered up. Now, can you hand me my other notebook there? And then there's... Wait, there's a camera. Can we not look at your belly? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, keep going. <laughs> Long. You got it? Yeah, Fire. Okay. <laughs> Anthony Weiner. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably gold-plated, too. you all close your eyes and really believe he'll show us his Tinkerbell. <laughs> and yes, that is what the kids are calling it. For those of you who are new in the room, welcome. Bring money down here. Get your flapjacks over there. Yeah, no, uh, it's great when you say that because it, it just sounds like you're giving money away. Yeah. Bring the money over here. Yeah, they bring the... Now, the money is going yeah. half... Half of the money donated today is going to Barnaby Jack's family, and the other half is going to the EFF. Yeah, to be more specific, it's uh, Barnaby Jack's family is trying to f uh, fly him home to New Zealand, which is where he's from, if you didn't know that. So that's rather expensive. So. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Jack. Who's okay giving it all to Jack. Barnaby's family? Okay. Okay. 
We can do that. <coughs> so anyway, this is just a standard um, JTAG dongle that you attach via the, U the USB port. Wait, Rob, did you say dongle? <laughs> oh. Did you say dongle? <laughs> and my fly was still down. <laughs> So we just plug into the JTAG port, get to the back door. So we don't care about the HDMI interface or what the hell this device is. Other than it's evil and we need to expunge the spirit. So we, we just, so I've downloaded the Altera FPGA software. So all I need to do is connect up the chip, scan the bus for the device, and then uh, upload it. And what, what's the upload key? It's his first time. <laughs> He's so never he presented really before. Yeah, <laughs> he won't remember what it was like, but he'll know he'll want to do it again. <laughs> so I practiced. That's what Dave was talking about. I practiced this to make sure I was getting it right. Don't, and now I can't even find the don't upload throw key. Him, Alex. <laughs> throw him hard. No. <laughs> <clears throat> We can't give you beer for money in Vegas for some really weird reason. However, we can give you sex for money. But we can give you beer and you can randomly donate money next to us. Michelle, it's American beer, so it is water. Also, remember, Rich is available for private lap dances. So am I. Woo! Those guys on the street, they work for me. <laughs> oh, come on. Live new riches. Right to your room. <laughs> I get awesome. really interesting responses when I show up to those rooms, I'll be honest. I will not throw a beer. Next time you use a dog, show it then. Use a Trevor's head. So I practiced this for two weeks, well, two weeks ago, <laughs> to make sure it would work when That's I got what to said. DEF CON. And all the applications set up and ready to go, all to do is plug it in. How's that working out for you? But Rob, what does gold have to do with fiber optics? <laughs> so, uh, and it's not working. Okay. If you, if you need a pancake, Jason has some, so raise your hands if you want a pancake. If you need technical support, I'm Jason. an analyst. Jason. <laughs> okay. So I had to plug it in the right way around. <laughs> That's what he said. So what we see here... <laughs> so what we see here, okay, we've connected to the device, we've identified the FPGA chip and the model number here. Um, I downloaded this SOF file. That's the FPGA description from the internet. There's a project up on GitHub that has uh, all the FPG, uh, Bitcoin mining software that can just download to the FPGA. <laughs> So now I'm downloading it and we'll see if it works. It usually doesn't the first time I have to actually hit it twice. I don't know why. Play with it a little bit. Jiggle it around. Play with your dog. Okay, so that appears to have worked. Show it a video to start. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't know, it works for me. Show it, us your jit hub. So now we've downloaded <laughs> Bitcoin mining software. To the FPGA, and now we're using a little control program to, to do the mining and send the results back up to the internet. Like the password. <laughs> 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 Is that on there? Yeah, the password's on there. Oh, cool. Uh, by the way, uh, my password for a lot of things is FUBAR123. So if you're looking for like my last FM password or my Strat4 password, that's usually my password. <laughs> but Rob. What does uh, FUBAR123 have to do with gold? So, uh, but what you'll notice here is my username is not Rob Graham. So my password is 123. You can go hunt down what my usernames are, my email addresses are. They tend not to be Rob Graham. <laughs> I've actually used Kevin Mitnick a lot. How about Carlos Danger? Is that going to work? <laughs> Um, so this is actually kind of slow. It takes a while, but it's actually running here, and you don't. And, and so what? No, it looks great for a live demo. So yeah, you kind of don't really see it from the live demo. But what you see up above is what had been running for two weeks before I came here. I just put the machine to sleep. And he even admits it. He, he was cheating. Yeah, I'm admitting I'm cheating. So. Um, I know. I got it paid. And so you, you see, it's, it's created one since I've been here. It's created one chunk and send them up to the server. And you can see over time it does about 
14 mega hashes per second is, is the rate at which it does this. It's pretty slow. It's faster than a desktop machine, but slower than a GPU. But it's only using two watts of power. And it costs $10. And it cost me $10. Bucks. So, so that was my chip liberation, is taking this evil company, making evil products, and liberating the chips from it and doing something good. And how much money have you made? Uh, less than $10. <laughs> <laughs> All that means he's done. Okay. So this is a um, th this is a very special fail panel. We've we we've expanded the members of the panel. We have a fail panel virgin on the team, and our first female fail panelist. But not both at the same time. So we didn't warn her we were going to put her up on stage right now, but I, I, I think it's a good time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's all. Sure. And mostly because she's not drinking enough and is a fucking lamer. So, um. All right. Okay, here we go. So, so, okay. I, so I said to Rob, I said, yeah, I need to borrow your computer here. I, I've got a USB drive. And he said, seems legit. And he plugged it in. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was gold plated. Yes, it was gold plated. Uh, <laughs> but Wendy, what does gold have to do with fiber optics? <laughs> oh, just wait and see. But Dave, why is my penis in your ear? <laughs> I'm trying to hear you come, obviously. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. I just heard something. <laughs> it was very small. It I'm a white like dead mouse. Jewish boy from Jersey. It's not going to impress anyone. <laughs> it's not the size of the penis. It's the amount of syphilis you have. <laughs> no, it's not the size of the ship, and it's not the motion of the ocean. It's whether the, the ship can stay in port until all passengers have disembarked. <laughs> I got three kids, call me Sniper. One shot, one kill. <laughs> hey, I, it looks like we're a little over $1,500 right now. <laughs> and I, and I want to give a special uh, shout out, Sky Talks just uh, threw 200 in. Uh, and, and let me just say, uh, in the security community, we, we often focus on some blowhards and some FUD and some you know, you'll be startled. There actually are some assholes in this community. I heard you, uh, you mentioned my name. Um, fuck them. There are some awesome people sitting around you and maybe even sitting on this panel. Yeah, absolutely. So um, as you're exhausted and trying to focus on uh, getting through it, remember there's some awesome people around you. Have a conversation. Um, and uh, people just open up. So anyway, there's a bucket here. It looks pretty good, but it'll look better with a little bit more in it. Ha! That's what she says. <laughs> Speaking of she, hey, Wendy, what's going on? Hey, hey. It looks like blah. We did $1,900 last year. We 19, did 19, wait, what did we? $1,900 last year, is that what it was? Okay, okay, we can do better this time. Hi, everybody, I'm Alex Rothman Showstack, Esquire. Hey, Alex. This is the boldest move in the history of the fail panel. Hi, Mom. How are you doing? Uh, great. I guess you're in front of 10,000 people, huh? 2,000, but that's close enough. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. I would never. You still there? <laughs> Can you hear me now? Um, you wanted something? <laughs> What's that? I'm waiting for squawking to talk. Um, anyway, I just wanted to talk to you guys before you left the country. <laughs> we Can hope I the rash cleared up. That would be great. 
Okay, thanks, Mom. Bye. Bye. <laughs> And you really, take out the garbage. Do you really have to give it up for him? Seriously, who else would let their mother hear this place? Yeah. Dude, at DEF CON, everyone had your mother. Oh. There's room for more. <laughs> All right. Staying important. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so... Um, hey, you with the beer. Come back here. <laughs> Please and thank you. Hey, Wendy, are you going to be talking about blah? Yeah. Uh, yes, I am Alex Rothman Showstack Esquire, and I'm going to talk about, well, let's, let's just say that I, I, I listen to presentations for a living. And, 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 and yeah, bring me some more to drink, please. Um, and so after the first few hundred of those, it all starts to look like this, and I wanted to share this with you. Vendor after vendor after vendor. Hey, quick pause. Right. Have you ever seen Dead Mouse in a presentation? <laughs> I, I, I've heard Dead Mouse and, and seen some pretty. <laughs> this, this is, <laughs> All right. This is still wait, not wait enough a, for wait, vendor presentation. We're going to need Wendy to shotgun a beer. Right, we will donate money for her to shotgun a beer. And that's we're, we're, of we're giving Canadian beer. We're giving her fine American <laughs> beer. No, Otherwise no. known All as right, crap. Then. Can't you give a virgin something a little bit better? No, no, no. I, actually, She's a fail panel virgin. No, no, no. That's, that's, you're, no. you're a virgin? No, the bourbon is, the bourbon is bad. Who's got bourbon? No, in... Uh, wait, there's wait, a virgin? What kind, of what kind of scotch is that? Oh, yes. Single malt. I'll take it. I'll take it. Not, none of this bourbon shit. Thank you. No, no. Out of the bottle. Wait, wait, you're a virgin with bourbon? No, drink that one. I want this one. Hey, look, everybody, there's a redhead with beer. So, uh, so at ShmooCon this year, I, I, at ShmooCon, I got up on stage and, and somebody handed me a really large plastic cup with what I later found out was rum. And uh, 15 minutes later, at the end of my talk, I went off the stage completely wasted. Listen, every, so, uh, can somebody get a picture of her with the, the bourbon right there for her RSA photo? And please label it Alex Rothman Showstack Esquire, because otherwise I have to explain to my boss why I didn't save some for him. So uh, anyway, so this is what it all starts to look like after a while, and I, I wanted to, to share some of my pain with you. Um, because, of course, every presentation starts with, there are bad guys out there, and they're trying to put a big-ass key into your computer. And <laughs> but just to make sure we're all on the same page. Are there bad guys out there with big keys? Uh, well, so, 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 some of them think they're really big, but, but they're not that big. It's all about key length, right? 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 What? So, yeah, more blah, blah, because generations, because we don't understand these people, but they wear masks. Um, I really like V for Vendetta. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then, of course, there are scary, scary numbers, lots of scary numbers, usually percentages that have nothing to do with anything else. But, of course, you know, they have to wind up with some really big, scary numbers. What's the biggest number you've seen? Oh, I, I can't talk about that in public. It, it, let, <laughs> what, it, well, uh, unless it's okay with you if I... If I by, by, by it, he just wants to brag about it, that's all. <laughs> and then, of course, everybody's got a solution... Hey, I, I didn't know you were using my picture. What? Everybody's got a solution. Have you noticed that every term in security was made Is up that a by spider? was made up by people who desperately want to be macho, so they use all sorts of law enforcement and and weapon and violent <laughs> things. We have secure ninjas and knights and spears and blood and and. We don't have hairballs. We need security hairballs. My DHS SOP states that I have to secure this presentation as a TSSCI because you haven't went through an SSBI. Yes, I do. Thank you. So, so I, actually, I don't know why they keep going with this macho stuff when this is just as scary. Um, That's my mom! 
Yeah, that was, yeah. <laughs> that's right. Wait a minute. That man just paid $100 for pancakes. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, only halfway. So did you have any good meals in Vegas? Yeah, yeah, I had a steak. And what was the most expensive meal you had in Vegas? Well, I had a pancake. <laughs> hey, you got three for that Thank hundred bucks. Yeah, it was $33 yeah, a pancake. The Thank you. I believe at this point we... Uh, Cheers, everyone. Cheers. 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 Woo! Woo! To all hey. of you. Hey, real quick, while we're doing this, uh, everybody raise your glasses and say goodbye to our very good friend, Barnaby. To Barnaby. To Barnaby. <laughs> I can't help but notice, really nice. Wendy, that you still have some of that left. You, you, you did notice that, didn't you? I, I did. He's very observant. I'm stretching it out, and, and that's what she said. <laughs> so, so, when, so Wendy has a fail panel version. I don't think, so my first fail panel, what I, I was prepared for was heckling from the audience. It was over quick. <laughs> but what I wasn't prepared for was heckling, the constant heckling from the co-panelists. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know most ah, of you guys. You. So anyway, I found that the angry old lady trick works really well. At least it works really well for me. So, uh, you know, I think we should have more of this in security. And then, of course, everybody wants to tell me that they're the, the best and the unique and the first one to, to have done something really, really exciting. And it's all because... It's not antivirus and it's not a firewall. Everybody is like shooting down these things and everybody is saying the S word, signature. No, no we don't use signatures. We, we're better than this because we don't use signatures. We use rules. Oh, rules. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I well, what do rules have to do with fiber optics? Yeah, the, the golden rule. The golden rule. Golden rule. There you is go. That the golden ratio? Is this like yeah. the golden shower? Uh, that's uh, that's later. That's later. I, that's I need later. another drink for that. You have to drink. <laughs> we need to raise three thousand dollars for that. Dude, it's like you're hitting on Judge Judy. That's totally. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not antivirus. It's not a firewall. And of course, nobody is ready to say get rid of your antivirus, get rid of your firewall. <laughs> but uh, everybody is saying these days they're great because they're not. Also, they're the best because they have really big d uh, data. <laughs> Their data is really big. It's much bigger than the other vendor's data. Is, Would you is, like to see our data? We'll show you how big it is. Would is you it, like to measure our big data? It's really... And they want to stick their big data in everything. <laughs> is the DI for data injection? Wendy and I are both analysts. I've had two big data presentations recently. One was because it was backed by SQL Server. <laughs> and the other so is because whore. they deal with very large SharePoint servers. So you're a double whore? So nobody, nobody else on, the, nobody on, my, um, on this crew knows what's coming next because I, I made this up um, yesterday in the bathtub. I can see, I can see it right there. Oh. Uh, oh, just wait, wait, save that, save that, that's, that's coming up. Um, fastest in real time because of... Wait, that says realist. Yes, we're the realist time. We're not just fast, we're not just real time, we're the realist time. We're realer time than they are because hardware cloud. <laughs> now, I'm just, I'm just going to throw out an idea here. Bingo! What happens if you get cloud hardware? Oh, then it gets really hard. Yeah, it does. That's what she said. So, so all of this makes me do this. I'm sorry, dude. I feel slightly uncomfortable. And I, I really need a helmet, actually. That would help me. That would help me during the presentations that I have to watch and listen to if I had a helmet. I would feel a lot better sometimes. It'd make cleanup easier, though, right? So, so here's my solution to the problem. We need more sound effects yes. in yes. security. Is that how you spell more? Well, yes, yes it is. I, I can't spell, so yeah, I will go with you, you go. on that. Just play some dead mouse, Wendy. Yes. <laughs> so, as you can see, actually we're almost there because a lot of vendor names sound like sound effects now. Hadoop. We've got Hadoop, we've got we have Splunk. Wait, Splunk's a real thing? <laughs> 
Where's Fred? Where's Fred? Dave, what's gold got to do with Splunk? Yes, what's gold got to do with Splunk? Well, if you have the gold, you get to Splunk. Yeah, that's right. That's right. What's that? Oh, uh, last Corona, we do, we're going to auction it for, I don't know what. Who will take their shirt off for a Corona? For oh, God, yes. <laughs> what? Oh, I hear 20, 20. Do we have more than 20? 40. Got 40 over there. 40 over there. Very nice gentleman over there with the great cap. Anybody over 40? Over 40? Sold. Corona for 40, thank you, sir. This is just half a shot glass, Martin. What are you doing? All right. So, uh, so sound effects. They're all just Norwegians. <laughs> They're all just Norwegians? Yes, I do. Um, so, yes, yeah, sound effects. We really need some sound effects. Um, you know, when you're talking about, people are telling me about malware. I, I love it when they pronounce it malware, because then I think of this. <laughs> Let's go to the malware. Yeah, no. Malware. So, so for mal malware, you know, anytime somebody says malware now, I can start thinking malware, and then I can start thinking, like, elevator music. Any kind of elevator music or, or late 80s, you know, songs, you know, every, everything that you hear in a mall, you can start thinking about it whenever somebody says malware. But then we've got... Then we've Wait, got is there a Victoria's Secrets in this malware? Oh, that was your presentation. Woo! Three, two, one. Oh, fail. Yeah, my second rule: a targeting fail, not a fail. weapons fail. All anybody, right, we, we need we need a flapjack trebuchet. That's what we need. Any, anybody want to hear the ultimate it, fail? I have, I have an ultimate oh, fail. Oh ultimate fail. Ultimate everybody. fail. My kids are here, you know, so they could see what dad does for for a, a living. living. <laughs> <laughs> They're too busy to come to my talk. Oh, oh, yes. Wait, wait. Yes. Wait. Just, just to be clear, one of them is teaching wait. Scratch at, uh, at Roots, so. Ooh. Wait. More than just. He's working. Wait. He's working. What are they doing? Uh, right now, my daughter and her new best friend, Sci-Fi, are doing a scavenger hunt. I don't know how that happened. And uh, my son is teaching. Well, I mean, he's doing his own talk, so he can't come to mind. You, you made it sound like they were like. Yeah. That is so awesome. So, okay, I think uh, Jamie, I think you misunderstand. Uh, Jamie, I think you misunderstand the word fail. Then. Dude, we're here. What are we? Hi. Chop, chop liver. Hi. All right. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh love you. All right, so. That man's going to pass fighter school and I'll have to go to Ewo school. All right, guys, settle down because i got to do some more sound effects here. So, for analytics, it's kind of like magic. So I think this should be, whenever somebody says analytics to you, you should be thinking this. Analytics. It's magic. Okay, to be honest, it looks like you were giving a hand job there. Linguistic programming, isn't it, it? Yes, it is. I'm going to condition a room full of people. I'm going to condition everybody. Yes. We overflowed the first donation bucket, so we're starting a new one. Excellent. Yeah! Excellent. So, all right, Jamie, this is for, the next, next one is for you. The, the next sound effect is for you because cyber. Cyber! Cyber. Every time you hear cyber, I want you to think... <laughs> That's what I cyber! Hey, Wendy, Wendy. Cyber! I'm not sure if you know this or not, but that sounds like a masturbation sound. Uh, maybe for you it does. It does, actually. Cyber. Cyber. Cyber, cyber, cyber. Say it with me. Cyber. 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 
Cyber, 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 cyber. And track one is wondering what the fuck is going on. <laughs> but Wendy, exactly. what does cyber have to do with fiber optics? Fiber optics. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> cyber. So next, uh, next, next one. I want you to be thinking this. All right, and then finally, you know, some things are just too big. Yeah, that's what that that's what I said. <laughs> and then you woke up. And, the, and then I woke up. Some things, you know, just require a whole different level of of sound effect. Let's see. All the things. Well done. All the things. Yeah, yeah. I gotta write that down. Way too fucking loud to throw, dude. Uh. All right, so... For, oh, jeez. All right, so for the next one, are you ready? <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, my God. There you go. Oh, oh right. my God. Oh, my God, hairball. Yes. Uh, technically, hairball. All the things. Rich? <laughs> wait, wait. Yeah, that's not okay. all the I want at least 20... I, uh, <laughs> and that's what she said. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right, so yeah. for that the pancake should go for at least twenty bucks. Hey, Rich, I need the finishing touch. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say finishing or facial touch? How come you saw his pants on? Yeah. <laughs> but David, <laughs> what does gold have to do with it? Thanks for doing time constraints. But oh, what okay. does gold have to do with Rich's pants? <laughs> All right, all right. So the very last sound effect, the last sound effect I want to share with you. By the ounce. Oh, sorry, that was. Hey, hey, hey. pipe down. Oh. I'm talking. It was a late coming. All right, last sound effect. It, it's got to be a big one. Let me see if I can do this at the same time. Don't do that. Oh, my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's what I want you to think of when somebody says APT. <laughs> yes, oh, my God! Because that, that's back to the whole macho sexual thing, too. It's and so fluffy! It is. <laughs> So remember what, remember what did I tell you today? <laughs> what did I tell you? So I'll just leave that right here with you. Remember, cyber. Nice. Cyber. <laughs> cyber. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy it. <laughs> Shit, my hand doesn't work. Whoa! Oh, oh, did you see that? That was awesome. Credit to the pen. That was awesome. No, it went like this. No, don't worry. I've already done it. Oh, shit. There's more than the number of those. <laughs> Where the hell did you? Oh, that's all right. Chuckle. Wait, are we throwing pancakes? No, 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 no. We're not throwing pancakes. Here's five. It's a shot. No, no, no. Those are still too hot, dude. These are really, really hot. Ha! That would have been a fail. Someone's gonna get that. All right. So, this took me about 20 minutes to put together. I already did it. Hey, hey. We have something even better. Just, but wait until the end. Just wait. I say that a lot, and er they're always disappointed. But uh, yeah. Like oh, All right. Yeah. So basically, this is my top five fails of the last year. And actually, the first one isn't from the last year. It was actually from 2011. But I haven't had a chance to share it yet. So 2011, I'm in Beijing, China, and I'm teaching a cloud security class. That's not my fucking problem. I'm up here. I got. <laughs> All right. Oh, Can somebody please. fix, I mean. Donating 60 for the dino toy. Yeah. Everybody in this half of the room. The, the cyber dino toy. Cyber. Go ahead, go, go cyber your little heart Woo. out. Cyber. Cyber only cost her $60. Where's our AV people? All right, everybody over there, just, just stand in the hall, uh, like the aisle right there, and you'll be able to see my slides fine. That's not working, is it? Don't worry, it's coming. All right. So if we can have AV support back there, I'll keep going. Do you going. know what happens when you fail in this panel, Rich? No. You fail? Nothing. You get something big. 
You get something big behind it, you from it, David. Is it big data? <laughs> yeah, give him something big. Yeah. I we'll have, do that at the end. I yeah. have my fist. All right. It works. So I'm in China, and I'm teaching a cloud security class. And I'm like, all right, this is going pretty good. I said no more when, than When you were in China, did you get approached by any women to have sex with you? Just your mom. <laughs> yeah. But so are you saying that you're the only cybersecurity expert that has went to China and not been propositioned by a honeypot? <laughs> it was a honey net. And, uh, <laughs> oh, I you were that means it was both men and women. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't know what's up with the AV because I'm sending out. So, um, so part of our labs for this is we do a bunch of stuff in Amazon Web Services. And I'm sitting there with the students, and look, this is a little difficult. I said, no more than 15 students, and they all need to speak English because I don't speak Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I had 30 students and most of them didn't speak English. <laughs> a little challenging, there was no translators. And uh, so it was one of those experiences. This was for a large company, <coughs> HP. And uh, I'm, I'm sorry, you coughed. What did you say? <laughs> so blow me. And <laughs> so we do all of our labs in Amazon Web Services. I have everything set up. And all of a sudden, I'm getting pissed off and I'm yelling at the network guy because none of the students can connect to their virtual servers. The whole thing is falling apart. We're not able to do any of the labs. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? And then I take a step back and I think for a moment. I'm in so I had 25 students. We launched 50 instances in Amazon. We were making 50 SSH connections simultaneously from one IP address. <laughs> And so I'm thinking, the dude over at Amazon is thinking this. <laughs> Maybe this. More likely this. <laughs> and if it's Dave Maynard, this. <laughs> and really, probably this. So the end result was for about a half an hour, we were blocked from Amazon. Students couldn't do their labs. And eventually they released it, and for some reason they decided we weren't a threat. So that was number five. And I gotta go fast, because Dave's got cool stuff, so I have to give him a little bit of time. Number four. This occurred four days ago. So I'm teaching a cloud security class at Black Hat. Now you kind of think, somebody knows where the Black Hat website is, they probably can type in the URL. They heard of Black Hat. It says four. Yeah. All right. Five, four, three, top five. So Dave can read, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's a new thing and he's totally excited. <laughs> so don't burst his bubble. You and four comes out for three. It's a proud. It's also yeah. a great reading level. Yeah. So. Yes, it is. So I've got a bunch of students in my class. And I, I almost feel bad about this one because the person involved is actually really, really nice. And I'd feel even worse if she was in this room, but she's not. Um, so this person, early on, we identified that she teaches security at a college. So I don't think a university, community oh, college God, or something. You're not telling that story, man. Yeah, <laughs> Jamie was there. He helped me co-teach the class. And um, so she teaches at a college. Uh, and super nice person. And she said, look, she sat me down and it was very quiet. It was like right as we went to a break, she's like, okay, so I hate to admit this. I do mostly like the policy and management stuff, um, but I don't know what you mean by key. And I thought for a second. Can and you I show thought. Your key? And I thought. Just make sure. Yeah, go away. And I thought, and I'm like, you mean an SSH key? And she goes, yeah. And I'm like, so we had somebody teaching security classes at the college level who doesn't know what an SSH SSH key is. So that was my favorite fail number four. And you would laugh if you weren't so fucking disturbed <laughs> at the concept. Standing there going, I have no response to that question. Senator. I admit this is better than the very first one of these classes we taught where I was trying to help somebody find her SSH key for putty and she couldn't find it. I said, oh, well we just need to go ahead Pull up File Explorer, and she goes, I don't know what that is. 
Okay, so here's File Explorer, I click, 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 and I go, okay, I need you to search on star.pem. Do you know what she typed in next? S-T-A-R. <laughs> Guess who she worked for? That would NSA. be the federal government. <laughs> using your federal government laptop. Yeah. So, number three. This also occurred at our class, and Jamie is going to fucking love this one. Oh, okay. Look at the preview of the what's next. <laughs> so. It's so good. We, we can't show you until you donate more money. Donate more money for the next slide. <laughs> That's not working. So, we're teaching this class, and we have one guy, and you know you always have. Has anybody taught before? Yeah, there's always the dude. And it's always a guy, mostly. And they always know a lot, and they really want to impress you with their background. So this individual... Hey, Rich, Rich, did I tell you about that time I broke into an apple? Yeah. <laughs> you did three years ago here, and now there's a full black hat talk over an exploit that he did on the fail panel that nobody noticed. It was a zero day at the time. So this hey, guy... Hey, hey Rich, the, uh, the technical term for that person is ask hole. I spent eight years as an undergrad, so apparently I don't know all the technical terms. In Cherokee, asshole means enlightened one. <laughs> <laughs> Justice, my asshole enlightened your penis? <laughs> uh, it, it's the fail panel. It ain't going to get better. So this individual mentioned how he just finished his... Wait, where, where's the squeaky thing? I need the squeaky thing. Cyber. Stat, stat, cyber. stat, stat. His cyber security graduate degree. <laughs> he informed us that before the very first talk, and then he said in very ominous tones, have you ever heard of heap spray? <laughs> well, yes. It's the Waters movie. I, I've heard that term before. He goes, you know, we were the guys that heap sprayed the college from Amazon. What? And what? I thought about that for a moment. I, I was gonna say, but and I, I thought about it for another moment. I say something about that. And the first words that were going through my head <laughs> and I really didn't have the heart my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to heap spray the college from Amazon. No, no, you know the nerd version. I, I, I just, I honestly, it is very rare I don't know how to respond to something along those lines. And so I decided to look for heap spray defenses online, and that was pretty much all I was able to come up with. Later, he got frustrated because he couldn't realize that when you enter something into the user interface, and if it has a space in there, and then you get an error, and it says no space is allowed, that you just take the space out. So that was, it was a really good class. But Rich, what do spaces have to do with fiber optics? <laughs> so, number two. Like Wendy, I work as an analyst. I'm a, willing to admit the name of my company, Securosis, because I actually own the company. Um, and, you know, all these presentations. <laughs> what did you say? I said Rothman's going to be pissed. Yeah, Rothman's going to be pissed. All, hey, look. You know, when I was a little girl. <laughs> so, <laughs> did I, <laughs> fortunately, I hit people I know. So, we all know APT is a big deal. Rich, and I about, know, I'm no, I'm no expert here, but that looks racist. Yeah, that's what. That's because Bing is racist. Do you see how high is spelled H I G H? Yeah. So. Martin, I can't believe it's not butter. Pour some on me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon? Yeah. Come on, come out! Finally. And... Mike is wearing a Hoyer shirt. And it goes everywhere. Like Holy... <laughs> yeah. So... Now, years ago, I do remember... I was talking to a web application firewall vendor. 
And they were talking about how they were going to prevent the APT, the marketing guy at a um, reception we were at at RSA. And I said, well, you know you don't, that, that, that's not how these guys do those things. He goes, I know, but we did a survey and APT. Yeah, but. Is this our last one? It's your last one. No less than twenty dollars. <laughs> oh no 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 Hey guys, Maynard's got good stuff, so I gotta get through this kind of quick. And um so we get all of these things from vendors about APT. This was by far my favorite. This was the email of the year. I got it about a week ago. And I'm gonna let you read this for a moment. I am contacting you on behalf of ISACA, uh, who would like to speak to you about how IT, how IT can form cybersecurity with COVID-5. And uh, I got one of these too. This is critical for IT teams in the wake of escalating advanced persistent threats. So apparently, we can use a, a control framework known as COPIT, which is exactly what this is, to stop APT attacks. Yes, oh my god! Bye bye! Whoa! Now, my absolute favorite fail occurred literally 30 minutes before this talk. Oh no. So, I walk out to get coffee. I go into the normal area of the hotel. And I'm coming back just, with my cup so of coffee. Just so we know, that's the area that's normal, not the area with the normal people. Correct. Uh, well, no, it was with normal people, not the us. The mundane area. <laughs> Otherwise, as we refer to them, targets. And, <laughs> and we're sitting there, and somebody comes up to me, and he's super nice. Um, he did not look like this, but this is my normal impression of normals at Vegas. <laughs> and, and, and he comes up to me, and it's great, and he's nice, and he goes... Hey, um, he, excuse me, sir. And I go, yeah. You know, how can I? I got all the goon stuff on, and admittedly, the red badge doesn't mean anything, but the dumbass tactical vest, to, like, whatever, does. And he goes, uh, what's going on over in the convention center? I'm like, oh, you know, it's DEF CON. It's the world's biggest hacker conference. And his face goes like this. <laughs> and, and I'm like, and I'm not used to that reaction. Most times people are, oh, well, that's cool, or that's interesting, or blah, blah, blah. They ask questions. And I'm like, is something okay? And he goes, wonderful. And I'm like, why? And he goes, I work for the NSA. <laughs> No bullshit, 30 minutes before this talk. All right, so uh, you've all come to the fail panel. You've all had a great time, right? Yeah! I, I need this because it's sunny here. Oh, wait, 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 go away. Go away. I almost forgot something. Jack Daniel and I were talking. Whoever gives us $100 gets to roll around in the money right now. <laughs> Come on. Hands up. Hey, Who's going to do it? And for $200, you can roll around in the cash with Rich. <laughs> Come on. Any takers? You can have Rich's too. <laughs> All right. I need to go to the ATM, but I'm doing it myself. Hold on. <laughs> Don't, tell me which ATM you're going to, just in case it's mine. So, uh, I have here a collection of spoons. Apparently, to make pancakes, uh, fail panel, you need a lot of spoons. I, I have had them signed by the members of the fail panel. You there can... no spoon. There's only That's souls. right, there are three of them. Three of them. There's only souls. You cannot unsee this shit. <laughs> Barnaby would be so proud. Tweet. <laughs> Holy crap. You know, my partner over there at Securosis, Rich Vogel, he's a... Uh, he's, he's rolling around in the dough. Wow, that escalated quickly. That's a, that's a lot of money there. So... 
I, I got these three spoons, and I got, I don't know how many of us are there. A lot. All of us. Um, All of us. You can, you can buy a spoon. You can buy a spoon that comes with certain associated, uh, thank that? you, that's a lot of water, uh, with, with uh, not just the authentication token, but also the authorization. The larger the dollar value, the more authorization is placed upon the spoon, such as the ability to have, I don't know, Chris Hoff lick the spoon for you. Yeah, or the ability to um, spank people with spoons. You figure out what your auth is. Huh? Does it have an SSH key? Uh, no, there are no SSH keys required. So, spoons for the taking. Come up with some money and figure it out, because apparently we have to let Dave Maynard talk again. Yeah. So before Dave starts, I just want to uh, thank you everyone for coming. And more importantly, I want to thank the number of people, such as Liz and Martin and Jason and Jack, who helped make this possible. Because we couldn't get those pancakes out to you without them. Let's give a round of applause for the helpers. And also for everyone who donated beer for you guys to buy. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. So uh, Jack just pointed out to me, Jack just pointed out to me that when Rich was rolling around in the money, he was just reliving his days at Gartner. <laughs> Gartner jokes are always funny. Hello, everybody. My name's David Maynard. Most of you Hi, know me Dave. as Shithead. That's great. All right. I'd like to start off by asking everybody, what do I have to do with fiber optics? The answer is, the answer is absolutely nothing. So how many people were here last year at the Fell Panel? Well, I can't believe you came back, you foolish people. So last year I did this thing with the iPod and Hanson. So I have become known uh, to some people as a Fell Whisperer, because I am very good at inducing Fell in, uh, in things. In fact, Here's a picture of me. That is fail. Look at that. I have two chins. <laughs> fail. I'm also wearing a tie. Fail. So I work with fail like most artists work in fine oils. I, I get to pen test things, so I, I, I fail a lot. One example is that uh, many years ago, Jacob Applebaum, who's a complete media whore, Wanted to uh, to uh, a couple years ago distribute. Well, no, yeah, no, he he's apparently stopped being a media whore and now has become a media darling. But at the time, he wanted to distribute something in CCC, and he wanted to prove how awesome he was by posting a version of it ahead of time with redacted information. So I thought this was stupid. So I wrote a blog post about it, and here's his document. It was redacted. So uh, the funny thing about this is that while you can redact large portions of the document, you can't redact the font size. So if you went through and measured, you could figure out how many letters were in each word of uh, small redacted blocks. It was, uh, it was pretty easy to, to find out. So we were actually able to, before his big CCC presentation, decipher his message. And what, the mes what did the message say? I found a new way to apply hair product. Makes it look like I just rolled out of bed. <laughs> no, seriously. Uh, he was actually talking about something with MD5 and collision. It wasn't actually funny. The funny thing was that he posted something he thought was secure, and everybody was able to read it ahead of time. So that, that's part. So the reason I'm going through this is I'm giving you my credentials for why I'm good at uh, causing fails. But this year I have no fail to offer. I only have success, and unfortunately, my success is horrible. So that was some fail, right? So one quick story of a recent pen test we had gone right. I can't really, I can't really tell you the client, but it's a really funny thing. When we came in, they were gun ho. They were ready for us. They they let us know right ahead of time how we just weren't doing anything. We weren't getting in, we weren't breaking anything. So in the, the, the window comes around, uh, five to seven minutes into the window, we had broken into everything, we had domain admin. 
remotely. So I didn't know what else to do. Normally at this point you start writing a report, but if you know me, I don't like to write because I can't read, which means that I will do anything to avoid writing a report. Which brings us to calling the registrar. And I can't mention the registrar's name, but we called a registrar, and I, in my greatest Southern Hick voice, went, Oh my God, my boss is in Turks and Caicos, and our site just crashed. I have to change our DNS over, but I do not have the password. Can you help me out? <laughs> And the person who sounded like they were in Kansas or Washington or somewhere went, well, gosh, I mean, you, you need the password to do that. I'm like, but I don't have the password. My, my boss is in Turks and Caicos. I was trying to channel a Baptist minister at the pulpit because nobody wants to disagree with the man of God. He was like, was there, is there anything you can do that you prove that I, uh, you work for this company? I was like, well, what do you want, son? What can I do for you? This is a little bit of exaggeration, but it wasn't, it's not much. And uh, he was like, well, can you send me an email from your work account? Or can you do something, like, can you put a page on the website to prove that you have control over it? And I was like, why, yes, son, I can. Let me go right ahead. And since I had domain admin, it was uh, it was pretty easy. You just right click in the IIS directory. What is going to have to do with it? I feel... I feel a disturbance in the force. It's a small disturbance. It's more of a ripple, actually. So I right-click in the IIS directory. I create a file called GoDaddy. Oh, wait, wait, I can't say its name. I right-click on a directory, create a file, and I say redacted. Does this prove that uh, I work for the, uh, the company? I give him the URL. He goes to it, looks at it, and says, yeah, sure. And then gives me the password. So which I, uh, I spent this, this, the, the rest of the night figuring out how to, uh, to do split routing with their email so I could get a copy of all their email coming in via DNS. So I called him the next morning at 8 a.m. and I asked the system admin why he hasn't gotten any email since like midnight. Game over, man. Game over. They were, they were shocked. They were appalled. Some would say they were shocked and appalled. Were they odd? Uh, no. No, they're pretty normal. No shock and awe? No. Oh. no. No. Which brings me quickly to why I have no... Uh, this is all funny, but I have... Wait, what? Time. Time. I have no actual fail this year to talk about. Last year, I did a trick, and it was, it was a very funny magic trick. Yeah, no, I did two tricks. Well, one guy was named Rich. He didn't pay well, but then again, I didn't have to do much. <laughs> it was over quick. So I did this trick with an iPod where I could be within 100 meters of every jukebox that uses uh, an app uh, that you could cue music on, and I could make all these jukeboxes play, uh, play Umbop. And I thought that was hilarious. For months after that, anytime somebody would check in on Foursquare to somewhere, I would find if they had a jukebox and I would play Umbop. I thought this was hilarious. So, so Chris Hoff tweeted where he was, was going to a bar. And like minutes later, Dave had like, you know, hacked his location on his computer and then played Umbop on the, on the local GPS, <laughs> on the local jukebox. So... So that was funny. And I, if you go back and look at the video and audio from last year, the last thing I say before I walk off stage is record executives use jukebox plays to determine how popular a group is. It's my calling in life to get Hanson to release a new album. See, I thought I was joking. I didn't. I didn't believe in the power of the film. I, I just wanted to put this picture up again. There was a chick sitting on my lap when I figured all this out. She had a gun. I was like, you know what? It deserves to be a two, uh, presentation two years in a row. But I didn't, I didn't believe in the power of the fell panel. So I want to let you all know I am witnessing to you. The fell panel power is real. It is real. It is so real. released a new album. Look at the date. Believe in the fell panel. Worship the fell panel. We change the world here every summer. I want you to know we don't do it because we're egotistical sons of bitches like Robert Graham. 
we do it because we are trying to help everyone have a better life. And I believe Hanson will have nothing to do with that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. But Dave, what does Hanson have to do with fiber optics? <laughs> That's our rock star. The day star, it burns. Oh, it's just him. <laughs> Do not want. <laughs> you know what? I have never, never seen a crowd throw Bono's shirt back. I'm going to tell you right there, we have some very polite fans. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Enjoy the rest of the show. <laughs>